Look at this beautiful drone shot I took in the streets of Nigeria last year. Or a couple years ago when I got this underwater shot of this crab and octopus. Or this time lapse I managed to capture. Not only did I not record those videos, but a human didn't even record those. I hope you're sitting down for this because the news that just dropped from OpenAI is groundbreaking. Somehow we went from Will Smith eating spaghetti to indistinguishable scenery in only a year and a half. None of these paintings you see in this video are real, and neither is this gallery. If you've seen my videos before, you know that I've made videos where I take text, change it into pictures, and change the pictures into videos. Now these videos are usually five to 10 seconds long, and they take sometimes 10 to 15 minutes to render. With Sora, that is no longer going to be the case. I'm gonna be able to take one prompt and go from text to video in a matter of minutes or seconds even. Now that we have Sora AI, and we know what this is capable of, it's only a matter of time before this is taken into every facet of media that we can think of. Let's take a look at my own channel, where we started with Replicate and Suno and Ideogram and Kyber for video and photo creation and even music creation. With Sora, all of this is rolled into one. They haven't announced any music creation yet, but I'm sure that's just down the line for them. This is still in the beta phase, and only a select few people even have access to this in the first place. Let's take a look at this video that's roaming around the internet, and it's probably the most famous video that you have seen, where people are blown away that this is not a real video. You can see the face distorting, you can see the reflections, you can see the Everything that is lined up, the eyes are in the right place, there's mouth, the muscles are moving when the man is moving. Everything is moving, everything looks like it is where it is. And this is from a single prompt. Given this is a very detailed prompt that tells you exactly where they want him to be, it tells him that it's in his 60s, it's, it says that it's a 35 millimeter film. But the fact that this is a 20 second video and by the way, Sora can go up to a minute right now, but you give it a prompt that is a paragraph long, and it comes up with detail that is indistinguishable from your life. If you didn't know that this was AI, and there was no logo on the side over here, this could be from your camera roll. On Suna's website that I'll link down below, they do include videos that are not super plausible, like these Willy Mammoths in the snow or all of these sea animals in the middle of New York City, but then they undercut those videos with super hyper-realistic videos of dogs playing in the snow. Now, you can nitpick knowing that this is AI and be like, oh, this looks completely fake. But if I didn't tell you that it was AI, and you just saw this on a random website or Facebook screen grab, there's not a shot that you would think that this was AI. Imagine what happens in two, five, even 10 years from now, where this video is a fully functional movie with AI created sound design, faces in the background that look hyper realistic, and emotions are completely computer generated, music's generated, people are generated, objects and everything around it is completely generated. This is what Sora means for the future of AI and video making and media in general. Take this 10 second clip of a kangaroo dancing, for example, and now go back and watch my video that I made with Kyber just a couple weeks ago. And you'll see a monumental difference in the way this moves. Even the characters in the background are flawlessly moving. There's no morphing involved. There's no extra leg or arm or ear from the kangaroo. There's nothing around the dance floor that's moving that shouldn't be moving. Even the disco lights are appropriately out of focus for the video. These TVs all showing separate videos that are completely unrelated is probably my favorite video on the entire website so far. Every single video is unrelated from each other. They are perfectly in the AI created 
TVs beautifully. They are beautifully colored in so that it looks like they're actual videos from the 50s or 60s. This video to me is probably the most amazing right behind the man in the cafe. The detail of the men is insane. I cannot fathom. It's crazy to think about how we went from very clearly AI generated images to something like this in only a year. All this is to say that this AI still isn't perfect. If you take a look at this video and zoom in on the people in the background and especially the women waving right now, you can see that her hand does a little morph that is not completely natural and it turns into right there a little bit of an alien hand. So if you look very closely to some of these videos, you can clearly see that something is going on. This first video I showed you that was in fact taken with Sora. You can see over in the left hand corner when I back it up right over here see that something weird is going on with the people in the background so if you know what to look for and are closely looking you can see something is happening that's not quite natural these four people right here are magnificently detailed to a point where if you just saw that you would have convinced me that that was real not only did Sora release their text to video model but they released the entire research algorithm that went behind this and detailed even more ways that we can go not only from text to video, but from image to video and from video to video. So if you go to their research page, which I will link down below, you will see that they detailed exactly how they got this done and how they took individual images and their data and made them into videos. So if you're interested in that, take a look at this link. In addition to their research, they also introduced how they got from videos like this, which is how AI was about a year ago, to videos like this that are super hyper realistic. In addition, they talk about how they upscaled their videos to 1080 by 1920. They detail how they've gotten better at framing so that everything's in, in the middle and not on the sides or pretty wonky. They detail how their language model, which is a part of ChatGPT and Dolly, have continued to improve. And then down here, they get into actually taking a picture and making it into a completely AI video. This one is particularly impressive because of the physics behind it. Right there, it gets a little janky. Other than that, it looks very good. And that's all taken from a single tsunami wave. This one in particular is pretty cool where it takes a video and it can turn into anything you want it to. So let's, for this one, it's in a jungle. You can change it and it'll generate it. And now it's that same type of video, but in the 1920s can make this go underwater and all this is generating in a matter of seconds take this car going through the road and now it's video in space with a rainbow road from mario take it and now it's in a pixelated world now it's in black and white kind of looking like a charcoal drawing the other really cool thing that sora will be able to do is join two videos together by an intermediate video. So for example, the video on the left is a video of a drone shot. Video of the right is a video of a butterfly underwater, which in and of itself is only something that AI can do. But the video in the middle starts with the AI drone in the Colosseum and then transitions slowly to a butterfly and then eventually butterfly in the water that comes out of this. We started with these two videos we got this one as an intermediary, and now we have 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. We have a full minute of video. Now take this one in the middle, add it to the one on the left and right, and we go from a overshot of the Abalfi Coast to a winter wonderland scene. In addition, Sora and their researchers have also been able to even further upscale images. So now it's in 4K. Now, even higher resolution rather than just 1080, now it's in 4K. 
This paper also goes into how they can interact with the world, leaving bite marks and paint strokes, as well as interact in video games where AI can completely move a character in Minecraft. If you want to take a look at more of this on your own, I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Other than that, I hope you're excited and almost nervous as I am to see what the capabilities of Sora are in the future. And if you'd like to see anything from me in particular, let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys next time.